Hello and welcome to this Illustrator video tutorial. Today we're looking at creating knockout effects in Illustrator. Now before I start the video I want to show you some courses that I have at Udemy and in the description below are special coupon links for you for all of those courses. My coupon prices are always at least as good as anything that Udemy can offer and often they're even better. I also have classes at Skillshare and again a coupon in the description below will give you an offer at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and generally better. If you sign up for Skillshare you'll get access to thousands of classes there including over 200 of mine. We're going to start with a knockout text effect where we're just going to punch a hole in a shape that's going to be the shape of our text. So I'm going to start with a rectangle. So I'll just apply a rectangle to this document. I'm going to fill it with black and I'll remove the stroke. And I'm going to place some text on top of it. So let me just go and get the type tool. I'll click once in the document. I want my type to be quite large. So let's start with 72 points and I want it to be a different color. So I'll select a different color for it. I've just typed out my words. So I'm going to select a different style for it. I'm going to choose bold, semi-extended and I need it to be much bigger. So I'm just going to start increasing the size of it. I'll drag it down so that the type is on top of the rectangle. And to create this knockout effect, I'm going to select over both pieces, the type and the rectangle. And I'll go to the Pathfinder palette. Now you can get to it through the icons down the side of your screen or go to Window and then Pathfinder. Now there's an option here called Exclude. And you'll see a prompt that says you're going to Alt click or Option click if you're on a Mac to create a compound shape. And that's what you want to do. So hold down the Alt key on a PC or the Option key on a Mac and just tap once with your mouse on this Exclude option. And what you get is this knockout effect. Let me just scale this down a little bit. And let me drag this rectangle over the edge of the artboard and you'll see that there's actually a hole where that type has been punched out of this rectangle. Now you might also have noticed how important the color of the type was. The color of the type has created this knockout effect. So where we once had a black rectangle and this sort of orangey brown type, we've now got an orangey brown rectangle and our type is see-through. So if you want to go back to a black rectangle, you'll just select the entire shape, double click here and just choose a black color. So if you don't get it right as you're creating it, it's very easy to go ahead and adjust the color later on. Now let's have a quick look at the layers palette. Here is my compound shape. We've got our type here and we've got our rectangle. Now if you want to change the size of your rectangle, for example, you can open it up here in the layers palette, target the rectangle, and then you can go and change its size. And make it larger or smaller as you require. If you want to change the positioning of the text, then again just come in here and select the text so you make sure you're working with the text. And now you can start moving it around. You can do whatever you want to do with the text and the rectangle by opening up this panel. Now there is an interesting effect that you can create if you take your text outside the area of this rectangle. Let's just go and pick up the text again and let's move it a bit further this time. This exclude effect that we use to create this compound shape, when we move the type out of the way, we get this sort of reverse text effect. So in this case, I probably want to come in and just change the size of the rectangle behind it to get this interesting effect. But if you want your knockout to be totally within your rectangle, then you'll just make sure that your rectangle is large enough to cover the type and you'll get this effect here. Now one thing that's really important to note about this effect is that the type is still editable. A lot of people online will show you how to create an effect like this and they'll turn their type into outlines. But if you want your type to remain editable, this is the way to do it. So I'm going back into the type tool. Let me just target my type layer and I can change this. I can change the type by just retyping over the top and I've still got the effect in place. The type has remained editable throughout. 
Now briefly before we go, let's go and have a look at another effect that we can create. Here I have an image of a cable car in San Francisco. So I've opened that up in Illustrator. On top of that, I've placed a rectangle and it stretches the full width across this image. And then I've added my type on top. So I've just done everything that I did in the other document, except I've added a photograph behind everything. So let's go and grab our type and our rectangle. So I'm going to do that in the layers palette by clicking on one of them and shift clicking on the other. I'm going to the Pathfinder. I'll hold Alt on a PC. That would be Option on a Mac and click our Exclude option. Now that has changed, of course, the color of the rectangle because that's the way the process works. If you want it to be a different color, you can just double click on it and change the color. In this case, I am going for a white. And we can now see the image behind this type through the actual type. If we want to make changes to it, of course, we're just going to open up the compound shape, select the piece we want to make a change to and make that change. In this case, I'm winding down the size of the rectangle so it's a little bit closer to the size of the text. Now, if I want the rectangle to be a little bit transparent, I'll go and select the entire compound shape. That is the text and the rectangle as a compound shape. I'll go to the appearance panel. I'll select the opacity for this compound shape and just dial down the opacity a little bit and that will make it slightly see through. So that's how you can create knockout effects. You can either simply create a knockout so that you can see the background through a shape or you can put something that you want to be a background, for example, an image behind your knockout shape and create this effect. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, click to subscribe and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And please feel free to comment and share. Until next time, I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me here on my YouTube channel.